Assalamu alaikum children. Welcome to the science class for the grade 3. Today we are going to start lesson number 6, our body. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate between cells, tissues and organs. And you will be able to explain various body organ system and uh, like a skeletal system muscular system, digestive system, respiratory and circulatory system. Okay children, so let's start the lesson. Just like a wall is made up of bricks. So children, as you know that a wall is made up of bricks. So in the same way, our body is made up of very tiny cells. Just like the wall is made up of bricks, in the same way, our body is made up of tiny cells. Okay. So, cells are, we can say they are the building blocks. They are the bricks for our body. Okay. Many cells together form a tissue. So, many cells together, they form tissue. Then, many tissues together form an organ. An organ is a body part which does a specific function. What are the organs of our body? The every organ is, have, is having specific function, specific work. Various organs of our body make an organ system that performs one specific function of the body. We have many organ systems inside our body. So we will see these organ system in detail in this lesson. So through these uh, pictures, uh, see that these are the cells. As I told you, cells are the building blocks. Like they are the bricks of our body. Hmm? So these are the cells. So many cells together, they form a tissue. Then many tissues together, they form an organ. So, this is the internal organs. These are the internal organs of our body like lungs, kidneys, uh, stomach, liver, hmm, these kind of our organs. So, here what we are seeing? Cells together, they form tissues. Tissues together, they form organs. And organs, they form organ system. Okay. So, here yeah, cells Tissues, organs and organ system. Important organ systems inside our body are. The table below shows some important organ systems. Parts of those systems. And the work done by those systems. Okay. So in the given table they are given here. Organ system. Then the parts of the system. Which parts are involved in that. Then. What is the function done by them? Work done by the system. Okay. So here organ system is skeletal system. Skeletal system is made up of bones. Bones and cartilages it is made up of actually. So skeletal system is made up of bones. And what is the work done by it? Bones gives support and shape to our body it helps us to stand upright and protects our delicate organs inside the body so here we are talking about skeletal system in the human body there is a frame of bones and cartilages okay there is a framework of bones. It forms skeletal system. And what is the function of skeletal system? It gives support and shape to our body. See, because of the shape of the bone only, our body is designed in this shape. Okay. It helps us to stand upright. Imagine if there are no bones in our body, if there is no skeletal system in our body, can we stand upright? Can we stand straight? No. So, uh, skeletal system means bones. It helps us to stand upright and it protects our delicate organs inside the body. As you know that in our body, digestive system is there, uh, respiratory system, 
and excretory system all these systems are there so for the organs which are responsible for the system like lungs kidneys heart liver so these are delicate organs so these bones this skeletal system protects this frame of bones protects the internal organs which are delicate okay next is muscular system muscular system is consist of muscles and muscles help us to move various parts of our body so muscles are the parts which help us to move various parts of our body as we can move our body or we can move our hands legs the head we can move so all these parts are can be moved because of muscles movement next is digestive system the parts involved in digestive system are mouth food pipe stomach intestines and anus so children the food which we eat it will be break down into smaller simpler substances whatever the food we eat it uh, won't give directly energy to our body it needs to break down into simpler substances then only it can give uh, energy to our body so it this process takes place through the digestive system and the parts involved in digestive system are mouth food pipe we intake food by our mouth then it goes to food pipe then it goes to stomach here here the breakdown of food takes place then intestine here the digestion takes place and the undigested food will be expelled out through the anus so this complete these parts are involved in our digestive system digestive system helps to digest the food we eat okay what is the function of digestive system it digests the food we eat and it will be absorbed by our body and it gives energy to all parts of the body to function properly here is respiratory system next one after the di digestive system respiratory system the parts involved in this nose windpipe lungs nose windpipe and lungs and respiratory system helps us to breathe as you know that living things need uh, to need to breathe the air so which air we breathe in with oxygen we breathe in it absorbed in our body by respiratory system and nose windpipe and lungs are involved in this process okay it help us to breathe next is circulatory system the parts of circulatory system are heart blood vessels and blood in the circulatory system actually the blood circulates in all parts of our body it circulates okay so blood circulates in all parts of our body so there will be a network of vessels veins and arteries in our body so it makes our circulatory circulatory system and the function of it the work done by circulatory system is it circulates blood circulates blood carrying oxygen and nutrients from digested food to all the parts of our body circulatory in circulatory system blood blood carrying oxygen and nutrients from digested food to all parts of the body it transports next nervous system now in the nervous system the parts which are involved nerves brain spinal cord nervous system sends signals from senses to the brain which tell us how to respond see we have five sense organs right eyes nose ears okay uh, tongue to taste and skin so whatever the feeling we get on our skin if we get any hot or cold uh, feeling or uh, if we get pinch something or we smell something or we taste something or if of or we hear something from the ears so all this information this messages goes to the brain through the nerves hmm? so the, the nervous system control this signals the signals which are sent through the different sense organs to the brain okay so brain responds to this senses so this all process take uh, takes place through the nervous system understood so in today's video we have seen some organs of our body 
as we started from cells cells are the unit of our organs okay so cells together they form tissues and tissues together they form organs and organs make organ system so the organ system inside our body we have seen today skeletal system muscular system digestive system respiratory system circulatory system and nervous system so children go through this tabular column read this parts of the system and uh, the functions of it in the next class we will see these all organ systems in detail okay inshallah so you go through the lesson and revise all these systems and their organs okay so till the next week take care of yourself allah hafiz